days ago, someone commented, make a house without walls, dot, 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 now. I mean, you could have at least said please, but I, since they're yelling at me, I gotta do it. I honestly haven't really thought about how I'm going to do this because when you build a house, you need walls. I even searched on Google, does a house need walls? And it says, we don't often think about walls except as a place to hang pictures. Without walls though, your house won't stand up. I guess to really outline my house, I'll use these plain marking little fences. So this will be my entrance. <laughs> Yeah, I'm stuck. I, I have no idea what else to do. <laughs> so let's put an L for living room. Or should the living room be in here? I'm too indecisive for this. Who gives me the ability to build a block for house? So I have a bathroom in here. Um, For that, I think I'll just put down a toilet. Just so I remember this is the bathroom. So this will be my entrance. And then we'll have... We need a kitchen. So this will be the kitchen. There we go. Oh, we need a bedroom. I totally forgot about that. Um, Let's pretend I didn't. So the bedroom will be in here. There we go. That's That looks like a house with no walls. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. So if I have no walls, that means I need no doors. I can't use any windows or I can't use paintings or wall trims. So I guess the only thing I can really put down is some furniture. So, um, what is inside of an entrance? <laughs> For my living room, we are going to get a transitional sofa. And now what else we need is a table because we won't have any walls and I need a TV at least in my living room. I don't know what else to add. There's no walls. I guess we could put down a flooring because we do need to color the grass. Now, I know I don't have to stress about adding things on the wall to fill it up, but now I have to stress about adding things to the floor to fill it up. So we'll add maybe this color and that. Ooh, this is pretty and I'll do a smooth plastic. I'll go with a nice green, maybe for some bright colors, change it up a bit. Oh my goodness, I can add standing plants. Thank goodness I can add plants because I was about to say, if I can't add plants, this house is gonna look terrible. What else does the living room really need? Like I have the TV, I have the couches. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to add. Oh, okay, actually I have an idea. Do so you know how some living rooms has like a coffee table or an ottoman? I think I'll add like a coffee table in here because this space is quite empty so maybe i was gonna say this table but i don't really like that what if we do a wicker coffee table and extend it by two for some reason this living room looks really big i feel like i did something wrong so maybe what i'll do is i'll delete one of these and to make the living room one more smaller than it is and delete this well bam just so the living room doesn't feel too big on top of this coffee table i've seen a lot of people use these like aesthetic colors on these books so let me try this out and see if it actually looks good or uh, if i'm just a bad builder <laughs> which that could be a possibility also um because i have no walls my character is literally staring me down excuse me could you look somewhere else do you mind oh that was really up close and personal <laughs> so if i put down this book and then this book on top and now if i color it nice colors actually i changed my mind i'm gonna color this a different color but i don't know what color yet why is it so difficult to choose colors this challenge should have been no color challenge instead of no walls challenge <laughs> actually that's a good idea for another video guys remind me in the comments to do that one before i forget i mean this is decent for a living room right what else could you really add you don't have any walls so now that i have the living room completed maybe i'll go into the bathroom and the good thing is i don't have to worry about putting down a wall so i could fill up every corner of this bathroom if i needed to but the flooring of this is going to be tiled because i don't want the whole entire house to be all wood so we'll put one of these elegant tubs on this corner so you can see it as soon as you walk through the house and then a toilet could be on this wall i already had that toilet down because i placed it down before duh oh my goodness wait i just realized for my counters i don't think i'll be able to put down a mirror because i have no walls how am i gonna do this there is no one who doesn't look at themselves and admire themselves while washing their hands i don't know why i'm talking about washing my hands <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that is fancy. This looks so empty. I don't know what to add. I mean, I could put down a plant in this corner and then I can have... We need toilet paper. And thankfully, there is toilet paper on a stand. And then I could also add in a small carpet and then the tub can be Ooh, this is fancy colors oh my goodness why am i building a house better than i usually do because i have no walls do walls just like ruin the build is that how it's supposed to be <laughs> i 
I know it's a mat for the bath, but I'm gonna place one of these down because I feel like it gives it a little bit more decoration since I have no walls. And then if I go into decorations, is there a bathroom section? We have miscellaneous, flutter, mirrors, plants, wall decor. Uh, I literally can't use any of these. Thank you very much, Bloxburg, but not today. Kitchen, clutter, flint, bathroom. Oh my goodness, I swear I'm blind. Yes, I know I wear glasses. You don't have to point that out. And if you guys didn't know, I do wear glasses, so I'm basically blind. <laughs> and then we could add like a small plunger, just, you know, extra decoration. Also, I forgot to mention at the end, when I'm done building my house without walls, I'm going to be inviting my subscribers to my house, but they'll have no idea of what the challenge is until the video comes comes out. So I'm gonna see what they rate my house. <laughs> that clearly doesn't look like a house. One more thing that I guess I could add because it doesn't involve a wall is by adding a cube. Oh wait, I just realized I didn't need that cube. Um, goodbye Mr. Cube, you are useless. Oh. Are you serious? It deleted my blanket. That's probably what I get by saying that to the cube. I'm sorry, Mr. Cube, for saying you were useless. Anyways, here is the blanket that looks like a towel. <laughs> so this is my bathroom. I got two rooms of the house is complete. The next one I'm going to do is the kitchen. So I'm going to get these craftsman's counters. I don't really know how the outlook of this kitchen is going to look, but I know that we need a stove <laughs> because we're so hot. That, that joke made no sense. Uh, anyways. And then I also need a fridge because of course, of course. Yep, that's pure English. I don't know what's happening to me right now, but my brain is not functioning probably because I have no walls. So for the floor of the kitchen, I'm tempted to do a wood. I could add a dining room because I do have quite a bit of space like here or is that too big maybe instead of that i'll do a round table because it doesn't take up as much space hmm. maybe transitional dining chair and put it all around there we go all around me a familiar fit i don't know why that came up to my head but yes there we go Ooh, she's fancy okay and what else i could also add are some plates Wait, these are paper plates. Hold up. Where are the plates? I swear they have plates. Why can I never find where the plates are? Logsberg, where are your plates? Are they not here? What is happening? <laughs> oh, it was under the table where I swear. I thought I was going crazy or something. I didn't know where the plates were. And then if we add some napkins on top of the plates, that can make it look even better. In my opinion, at least. And then the last thing we need are some forks. Oh, that's inside the plate. There we go. Come on, are you serious? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Voila! The table is now beautifully set. For some reason, I've been obsessed with this cheese grater, even though, like... It's such a random item. I just I just like the look of it. It's aesthetic, okay? Leave me and my cheese grater alone. Justice for Mr. Cheese Grater. <laughs> I forgot a microwave. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get a microwave and some jar decorations. Wait, I feel like a carpet is missing. Perfect, there we go. That is our kitchen. Voila! I don't, I don't know why I keep doing that. Next up, the second to last room of the house is going to be the bedrooms. Or wait, maybe I should get one of these fancy double beds. This this is nicer. Oh my goodness. Yes, for sure. Gonna replace that right there. Bam. And then in this corner, it could kind of be like a vanity along with maybe a wardrobe. I think I'm gonna replace this nightstand with the wardrobe. And then in this corner, I'm going to add in a mirror, like a small standing one. And then in the room, I could add in a carpet underneath my bed just so it fills it up a little bit more actually i like this wickered one now i'm gonna add in some pillows to my bed because this wouldn't be a luxurious bedroom without having some fancy pillows i also want to add in a flower pillow because i feel like flower pillows in blogsburg are easily forgotten and they're one of my favorite pillows because they're look how cute they are underrated for sure <laughs> why are the jewelry boxes in blogsburg so big like i wanted to place a tiny one in this corner but it just looks abnormally large i was just thinking i can't add walls but what if i'm able to add some pillars do you see where i'm going with this like i put down a pillar here and then can i resize these oh i can make them smaller oh my goodness wait i might be onto something because i really want to add in some fairy lights but i wasn't able to before but now that i have these pillars oh, look how cute that looks oh my goodness 
question is, okay, I'm sorry. This is not cheating because I have pillars, not walls. So if I resize this slightly and move it up, there we go. I have a DIY mirror inside of my bathroom. Call me big brain or whatever. I'm having so much fun with adding these pillars now. Uh, <laughs> That looks really good. Ooh, speak about no walls. If I add one in the bedroom next to these fairy lights, does it look strange? I think it actually makes the bed look even more fancy. Okay, Panda, I see you. Not me talking to myself. What am I doing? <laughs> I can't believe I forgot this. For some reason, it's always the last thing I add and people in my comments are always are like, Panda! Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot. And the very last room that we need to do now is the entrance. But how do we build an entrance without the actual entrance of the doorway? Did you think that through? No, I do not think you did. So maybe we just have to imagine there's a door in each place. So what I think I'll do is add in a carpet as if this was the entrance. And then if I put down this small council table as soon as you walk in and then in the entrance i think i'm going to add in a small lamp in this corner Wait, maybe i could put down like a storage bin in this corner or maybe over here but that blocks the entrance well not really because the door could have been there this is the finished result of my house without any walls <laughs> So welcome to my home. The cost is 45,000. Well, I guess that's one way to save on your bills. And I forgot to name this plot. So cows, but no walls. There we go. Beautiful name. So this is the entrance space over here. We have a little storage space along with some keys, tissues, and basically the necessities of when you walk into your house. We also have a little seating area that sits inside of pillows, apparently. To the right, this is the doorway <laughs> to the kitchen. I mean, living room. On our right is the entrance to our living room. It has um, a couch. It has a small console table along with a TV and a succulent. It also has lots of natural lighting. As you can see, the windows are so beautiful in this room. That was a joke, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and then over here is the bathroom. I have my floating mirror on a pillar, the sink area, some clutter items, and my bathtub that I could just chill out on while there's no one clearly watching me from the outside because I have walls, don't I? Yep, totally. <laughs> and then while I take a poo, Someone can be right next to me and I'll bring out my plunger and start chasing them. Get back here! Don't watch me use the bathroom! Why am I talking like this? What is wrong with me? Our next room over here is the dining room slash kitchen. So this is the dining room table. And I have a little closet space for all my dishes and whatnot. My cutting board, my kitchen with a fridge, of course, oven and a sink. And then the very last room of the house is the bedroom over here. Probably my favorite. I really like the colors of the bed. I have a closet dresser, some fairy lights, of course. And then this is my little dresser with a mirror and my makeup desk. So that is my house. Let's invite my fans and let them rate my beautiful home. <laughs> also, if you want to be in a video like this in the future, all you have to do is subscribe. So do it. Ew, what is that? Oh my goodness. Um, This one is cute. This avatar. But bestie, what is that? It's staring at me. Look, they said, I am here. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Wow, they rated my build a negative one out of 10. And then they said kidding. But you know what? You still rated it bad. Okay, these avatars are getting more and more cursed. What is this? A squirrel? Oh, the squirrel is in my house. I'm gonna say rate my build with a smiley emoji. Everyone's just like walking in the house. There is someone in my bathtub. This looks like handsome Squidward. You can't tell me it doesn't look like that. Oh, it's staring at me. Um, I love how open it is. Dot, dot, dot. What are everyone else is saying? It's very open. Nature. Why is this person giving me grapes? Mmm, grapes. <laughs> they said, I think Panda ate the walls. Deduction for no walls. Cute decor. Okay, you know what? I think my house without walls. Panda, people could easily drive into your house like me. Don't break my house. They're just driving their go-kart in here. I'm backing up and hitting everything. She said, it's already broken. Well, miss, you know what's broken? Your eyeballs, look at them. They literally move. This is supposed to be Roblox. So now I'm saying, now for real, rate my house out of 10 on the count of three. One, two, three. 
three. Let's see what everyone has to say. We have a 10, 11. Oh my goodness, I broke the charts. A seven, a two, a nine, a five. Okay, you guys are so biased. What is it? Is it a 10 out of 10 or a one out of 10? <laughs> nine, it's so open. What does she have on her face? What is that? Oh my goodness, is that the face mask? Why does it look like that on that character? Mom, I'm 